guys, thanks for joining me today. I really hope all the sounds from downstairs um, isn't heard too much in the video. I feel like it is, but I hope you guys can still hear, hear me. Um, so I'm here to do a review for you guys on the Anastasia Brow Dip. So I've never really been too, too much into eyebrows, um, in which case I never really did things that took a very long time. So I use really easy things like just eyeliner, or not eyeliner, <laughs> eyebrow pens and things of that sort that were just a lot easier to me than something like this. But watching all the videos on this, watching the amazing reviews, I had to give it a shot. And I went to Sephora, picked this up. This is the Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. So... As you guys, I'm sure already know, Anastasia is a line for mostly eyebrow products. Like she is kind of branching out now and doing a little bit more stuff, like a contour kit, as well as concealers and things like that. But she is really well known for eyebrows, and she actually does Kim Kardashian's eyebrows in LA and things like that. So definitely uh, very well known. I've heard a lot about her products. I've heard great things about her products. I knew this wouldn't disappoint. Um, so I went and picked this up. This has five different shades, and I really like the word. It says Dip Wrap Homemade, and... It really is an amazing texture. It's very fluffy. And I think that's what sets it apart from, say, the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. Because when you dip a brush into this, it just sort of, it's just fluffy. It kind of feels like a, like a mousse type of texture. So when you apply this in your eyebrows, it just glides on. But due to that, it's really important to make sure that you have control of your brush. So it's a really small brush. Um, and I would you know, do some trial and error before you actually want to use this for the first time before you go out because your brush can definitely slip if you get too much product. So this little jar has uh, four grams of product, which is a lot. I feel like it's going to last me forever. I've been using this for about a month now. And you can see how much I've used. But I think this makes all the difference to my face. I wear this every day now, as you guys can tell. It's not too dark, it, but I just think it photographs so well. It gives my face so much definition. It's really easy to use. And the way that I use it, I'm going to show you guys in this video also, but I use it with this brush right here. This is the MAC 266. The most important part about this brush is the fact that it's a natural bristle brush, which I think is the important part. I have tried to use it with synthetic, with synthetic brushes like this one, but it just doesn't work. The brush doesn't move, and I'm not really sure why. I thought synthetic bristles would actually make it easier and might actually make it more accident prone, but that's not the case. So I would recommend a, uh, a natural bristle brush like this one. Any brush really like this that you can find. You can find this on Anastasia's website. She has a brush that's made for this also, which is on one side like this. The other side has a spoolie on it. And of course, you need a spoolie to clean it up. But um, this is supposed to be like bulletproof, waterproof, all that kind of stuff. And it really is. I went to Florida, when was it, about a week and a half ago? And I really was, you know, we did a beach day and I really didn't wear much makeup there. I just wore, um, I wore a blue eyeliner and I wore this on my brows. And it was so interesting because we got soaked, we got wet, we went to the water, everything. When I came out, my eyebrows were still on and looking good. So this definitely showed me it's a wonderful product. And the thing is, a lot of people feel like by using products like this, you're going to get a very unnatural look, which is not true. I think that my brows today prove that. I don't ever wear like super defined eyebrows, but I have, I've been wearing it like this for a month and I don't think it looks very unnatural at all. I love it. And so I think it's a really easy product to use. Um, I would recommend this, I think, over the Makeup Forever. I was going to do a compare and comparison, but I think that there are more videos like that, so there's no point in me doing that. But I just love this. It's a little bit more messy. It takes a little bit more time than, an, um, than a, a pencil, you know, something like that would for sure. But I think it's well worth it. I think it looks a lot better. What I've also been noticing recently in my pictures is that when I use a MAC eyebrow pencil, I could see the texture in pictures. And by that I mean I could see like that my eyebrow hairs were colored in. And I didn't like that. It didn't look bad, but it just wasn't something that I loved either. And this doesn't do that. So but that's really good. It really will not move. You can set this with brow gel if you want to. I haven't had the need to. I think this by itself was really awesome. My eyebrow hairs have not moved at all. And I always keep my hair down, so my hair does get in my eyebrows and stuff like that, but nothing has really happened. So this is an amazing product. I would 100% repurchase this, and I urge you guys to check this out for sure. $18 at Sephora or on our Anastasia's website as well, and I'm sure maybe Ulta and stuff like that happened as well. So all I'm going to use is three things. The brow dip. Obviously, this is in dark brown. A spoolie and just a regular um, eyeliner brush. This one is made with... Uh, natural fibers and that's really important. So what I'm going to first do is take the spoolie and just brush out my eyebrow hairs 
and once I just know that all the hairs are facing the same direction and just look neat and clean then we're gonna go ahead and get started so with this I'm just gonna dip it directly in there you don't want to get a ton but you want to make sure you get enough and then I'm gonna start right near the arch but not at the arch right before it and I'm gonna go down under it so from underneath it right on my hairs I'm gonna go ahead and create a line you guys could probably tell that it became a little bit darker. So I like the natural size and shape of my brows. That's why I'm not going like really under it. That's why you can't see a strong line because the only way you'll see a strong line is if somebody's going under their eyebrow. That means that there's no hair there to begin with. So all you're going to see is this paint, but I'm not doing that. And then I'm going to go over it. I'm going to curve my brush just like my normal hairs and pull it down. So you can see that so that is the shape that I wanted and now you can already tell like, how much darker it looks to begin with but I don't want it to be crazy dark so now I'm gonna come back into these hairs in the front and you don't you never want that to be overly dark because then it's not gonna look very natural I'm just gonna lightly brush that over and then I'm gonna take more of this and just make a sharp line going downwards right here you always want the outer corner to be the darkest in your brows and you want the inner corner to be the lightest and most natural so that's what I've gone ahead and done. I focused most of my color right here, made it dark, and the inner corner I'm just using like whatever's left over. And then, if you have made it too dark or you are a little unsure of it, you know, just go in with your spoolie. And this is a step that everybody has to take anyway. At the end, you're just gonna brush it out, and this really helps to soften up the look if you do have on too much. And that's really it. It was the easiest thing ever. You can finish it up with brow gel if you want to. I don't really need to do that. It was super waterproof, does that move. So for every day for me, I don't feel the need to use the brow gel. But if you guys do, you definitely can.